Welcome back to Ballhead of Metal, guys. My name is Joseph. Today, finally got to the band Evergrey. I know you guys have been requesting it quite a lot. Just haven't had the chance. We're going to start with the song King of Errors. I have no idea what genre it's in. Based on what I've been real kind of reacting to on this channel, it's kind of been almost exclusive to uh, death metal or melodic death metal, which I would ask from you guys, throw me some suggestions from thrash, black metal, like other genres, power metal. Uh, I want to hear other genres as well from you guys that you're interested in, uh, and perhaps that I haven't heard myself yet. Uh, without any further ado, let's get right into this. If you are new to this channel, be prepared. If there's something I don't like, you will know it. If there's something I like, you will know it. But I try to just create an interesting conversation and always be respectful to the artist. Anywho, let's do it. I have no idea what I'm I did see a lot of positive comments uh, down below though. Reverse waterfall. Okay. Kind of building it up, right? Kind of get, trying to get a certain intensity to the music. I like the atmospheric so far, kind of the atmosphere that it's creating. We are crowned king with no soul. Jesus Christ? When all doors are closed, we walk alone. Let's see if there's also a thematic to the music video. It's the best as I can. I'm going to try to kind of watch out for that. We know you see us. Horses. And every time you close your eyes, you make us fade. Don't you ever wonder if we sleep at night? If we sit in silence. I mean, the shots are beautiful so far, the way it's being shot and it's showing, but I don't know if there's a. I guess it's gonna be more melodic death metal. Fighting against the stream. Looks like they just went on location, started filming without any uh, uh, real preparation. It's not like, you know, some crazy setup for this music video. Let's get a drone or one or two cameras. Let's go for it. So far, it sounds interesting. That's interesting, but totally unexpected. Power metal. Right away, I like his voice. I like his voice. He just... He has the emotional con counterpart that I talk so much about on this channel that I've always looked for. And he right away, two seconds, he already grabbed me. So I'm in... For him already let's see what other the kind of the main chugging riff is kind of interesting but let's see how the song evolves as well that's nice
yeah, it's like, it's like, like heavy metal slash, uh, power metal slash kind of like that Zach Wild, uh, new wave of British heavy metal or American metal kind of style. I like it. Uh, so far, you know, it's, it's like simple, but his voice is carrying the song 100%. I thought this style of metal was kind of out of fashion, and I don't mean that in a bad way. Like I, I know thrash metal is out of fashion, and I that's my favorite genre. There's still new bands, you know, being created, but it's not just the most popular one. And I thought this style was kind of out of fashion a little bit, and it seems like this bands that kind of really want to keep to those roots. Perhaps they've just been around also for a long time. They don't look exactly, you know, like youngsters. Uh, it looks like they've probably been in the game since the '90s. Uh, but so far it's, it's, I'm liking what I'm hearing and I'm into it and I'm kind of bobbing my head and I like what I hear, but at the same time, it's not like when I first heard Ed Guy, what's the name of that song? It was a particular song from Ed Guy I would listen to and it just blew me on my face away. Or uh, something like Mystic Prophecy, where I just started kind of powerful power metal feel. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, somebody who's into this this kind of uh, style, you probably just absolutely loving this. Uh, for me, it's a just kind of um, the only thing that's missing for me. I would like a harsher sound, and I mean, it's like slightly thrash, it's slightly more power chord heavy. Uh, vocals are perfect. I like his vocals a lot. I like the music too. It's just, it's just to me, it's a uh, again, it's like something my brother probably would enjoy more than I would, just because of. Uh, Again, I like I like more tend to lean more towards like the heavier stuff. Very much reminds me of a uh, black label society. with this music that it's like if there was for example like there's a you know it's a couple of riffs in there that uh there's not a lot of technicality being displayed unless it's it's the solo uh his vocals are really nice but they stay kind of on a on a, on a pretty even keel throughout it it doesn't it doesn't stand out it stands out but it doesn't strike like a, a light bulb above my head, like, whoa, uh, this is something different. 
Uh, I remember first hearing the sword. It is the first time I heard a stoner metal band. And I was absolutely blown away. I'm like, whoa, this is from now? I thought this was like a 70s band. And they just had such interesting riffs with so much energy. And this particular song also is a little slower. I think it's something to take into account. But it's not... It's not a lighting a fine fire under my ass. Whether it be from... Like, the only, the only part where I was like, whoa, is his voice and the solo. The drums are just kind of keeping the bass. And that's typically why I don't like that traditional metal sound much anymore uh yeah, i like it from the classic bands like judas priest and everything like that and even if you hear the new judas priest albums they they, they have a certain level of intensity they didn't have before uh so it's, it's like it that sound in some ways aged and some people want to do it for nostalgia reasons and play for nostalgia reasons but i'm i'm just kind of like over it so to say i think the last kind of like traditional heavy metals record that i really like was those two Halford records he did, Resurrection and Crucible, and the Alice Cooper, he did two albums that were straight up just heavy metal, it was Brutal Planet and Dragon's Town, uh, and they were straight up just old school, but they just had that, I don't know, something about them, that oomph that I'm not hearing here in particular. Uh, hopefully that gives you kind of a good idea where I'm coming from. And I'm not very much a nostalgic person, I don't, I don't listen to something just because of nostalgia. It has to be good, and if it ages out for me, then it ages out. There's, very, there's some bands that maintain the, their aggression and intensity throughout their career, and some give it more intense, like uh, Exodus. kind of a song. And there was quite a lot of the, the sound. I remember like in the 90s and early 2000s, there was, you can hear this sound in so many different bands and albums and people coming back from a hiatus and stuff like that. So I kind of know where this sound, you know, why, why somebody would be particularly interested in it, especially from 2014. But um, yeah, I kind of expressed how I felt about it. Let me know where you disagree with me. I would like to hear that from you. I know there's probably some of you guys who really absolutely love it. Uh, maybe for some, this is going to be the way I felt. Kind of like it was, you know, okay. Uh, but hopefully we can inter create an interesting conversation at the very least. And guys, I want you to, but most of all, make sure you're enjoying the rest of your week. Or staying safe out there. And most of all, keep keeping it metal.